Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 13 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd Edition. So, what we're going to do in this video is look at odds ratio interpretations for ordered logit models. So, as I mentioned in, a, in an earlier video, uh, we cannot directly interpret the coefficients from ordered logit or ordered probit. Um, we have the option of using odds ratio and predicted probability for ordered logit and uh, predicted probabilities for ordered probit. So here, we're just going to do it for ordered logit because we can't for ordered probit. All right. Um, everything is roughly the same as we saw before with binary outcome, outcome models. It's not exactly the same, but it's, what I would say is roughly the same. Um, the big, big difference is that when we do the interpretation, the odds ratio here, uh, the odds ratios here are actually cumulative odds ratios. That is, again, because of the parallel regression assumption that we talked about in the previous video, that we don't have it for each outcome. We don't have a coefficient for each outcome. We have it over um, sort of the overall effect. Because of that, we have to do a very slight change in the language of when, of, of when we do an interpretation. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's calculate the odds ratios here. So we will, um, we don't need to get rid of the constant like we did before um, because of the cut value. I'm going down a rabbit hole talking about this, but um, we don't have to do the, the square bracket minus one, bottom line, <laughs> all right? Um, if we just do uh, the exponential exp function and use the coefficients, that will just give us the coefficients of the predictors. Okay, we're going to do these together. Um, oh, so this is this is for the odds ratio, and then we're going to do it for the um, odds ratio as a percentage. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. We do um, an open parenthesis at the beginning, and then at this at the close here this first close we're going to do minus one close parenthesis times a hundred okay that will give us the odds ratio as a percentage go away okay all right so let's run both these okay all right so in terms of understanding this it's the same as we saw with binary outcome so if it's um if the odds ratio is one so we're talking about this top, this top row here. Um, that's that's even odds, which the only way to get that is if the coefficient is zero, which means it's constant, which means it's not significant. So we're not going to talk about that. Um, if it's greater than one, it's increasing um, it, odds, right? It's sort of a positive effect. If it's less than one, then it's a negative effect. Okay, let's do this. Um, Let's yeah actually I'm gonna do the interpretation for both of them so so we can interpret ref vote and S Scott um, age is not significant but I, I want to give an example here of of both a an ordinal variable interpretation and then the dummy because we hadn't we haven't done the dummy yet okay um, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with the the Scott one um, so. This is the same kind of beginning of the interpretation like we had before with the with with um, odds ratio in binary outcome. We're going to do for one unit increase in the strength Scottish identity. The odds of having. Okay, so this this is this is the somewhat tricky part. And I, I'm just looking over things. I'm trying to think, like, what's the best way of phrasing this? Because because it's cumulative, we're talking about, like, what is the odds as we increase on this, on our outcome variable? So we might say the odds of having more trust or, say, greater trust, something like that. Um, 
hold on a second. So having more or greater trust. Oh, oops. Sorry, I'm getting a little configured here. There we go. Uh, greater trust in the UK government or British government or you can say government um, is... Sorry, let me get this right. I'm going to get this right. The odds of having more trust slash greater trust in the UK government decrease by a factor of 0.90. All right, so this, again, this, this can get a little confusing. All right, so the beginning of the interpretation is pretty straightforward, right? For a one-year increase in the strength of Scottish identity, all right, the odds of having more or greater, right? So again, it's it that has to be the because we're increasing on the values. Um, and then this is whether we talk about decrease or increase or, you know, some equivalent phrase is going to be based on um, whether the the odds ratio is is above one or below one. So for Scott, it's below one, right? It's, if we round it, it's 0.90. So decrease by a factor of 0.90. All right, I'm gonna highlight this, copy it down, and just, we're gonna take a quick look at the um, percentage version. All right, so here's the percentage version right here. So the odds of having more trust, greater trust in the UK government decrease by if we rounded it right we could just let's just round it 10% okay so for a one unit increase in the strength of Scottish identity the odds of having more trust greater trust in the UK government decreased by 10% okay let's look at the dummy variable because um, because we it's I talked about it in the chapter I don't think we've, we've included it in the video yet or at least up to this point so a for dummy variable interpretations, um, as I had mentioned, the effect, and then thus the odds ratio here, is the higher category versus lower category. So this is the odds ratio of yes vote or vote yes compared to vote no. So when we do an interpretation, we have to start with that higher category. Um, I'm going to just do it for for the, the odds ratio percentage here. Um, but it should be pretty clear what you would have to do. All right. So for those who planned to vote yes, um, again, the, the, the ref vote is, is planned to vote, all right, because the survey was carried out before the um, the referendum for those who plan to vote yes okay. all right I'm gonna write it out just to be consistent yes in the referendum the odds of having more trust again I'm putting it as more trust greater trust you would just pick one of the two um, the odds of having more trust greater trust are Okay, we're going to use this percentage here. All right, let's just round it. Our 45% smaller. Let's go to spell that right. Our 45% smaller than those who planned to vote no in the referendum. Again, it's a bit of a mouthful, right? But uh, anytime you do a, a dummy variable interpretation, what you do is you start with the higher category because that's in re that is referring to what the coefficient, what the effect is, and you end it with the comparison. All right. Um, again, we have this that the odds of having more greater because we're increasing on this this outcome variable, um, and then we have our actual value here, forty five percent. It's negative. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to phrase it as 45% smaller. Um, you know, you could play around with that, wordsmith it, <laughs> whatever. And then we have our comparison. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, 
Again, it's a little tricky to do odds ratio here, but it's not it's not totally insane. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.